Good afternoon and welcome to the West Country Today. The Prime Minister and his entire cabinet have been holding a rare meeting outside London today. David Cameron hosted the session at an academy near Bristol. He used the opportunity to announce the government is to improve the country's weakest primary schools by turning them into academies. Well, we're joined now by our political correspondent Bob Constantine at the John Cabot Academy in Kingswood. And Bob, an important day for the West. Very much so. And, uh, of course, everybody here had been sworn to secrecy about what was going to happen, but uh, the entire Cabinet uh, met in a classroom here at the John Cabot Academy in Kingswood, uh, and the Ministers have now gone around various sites around the city to try to get the Cabinet out of London, an initiative first pioneered, actually, by the previous Government. And, as you say, David Cameron then addressed pupils and used the opportunity to say that 400 struggling primary schools around the country would also be turned into academies. There are still, I'm afraid, 1,300 primary schools that don't reach the required standard. So, you know, you've got a lot of people leaving those primary schools not reading properly. 255 of them are so poor that they're actually in special measures. And so what we're announcing today is we want 400 primary schools taken over effectively by great academy chains like yours in the next year because we're not going to put up with schools that fail well, that was the PM just a short time ago. He's now on his way back to London, but I am joined by David Carter, the head of the Cabot Learning Net Federation, which uh, brings together, I think, ten local academies? Yeah, that's correct. Ten uh, schools, six secondaries and four primaries from Bristol, Bath and Western Supermare. Now, you must be heaving a big sigh of relief, because it all went off pretty well, didn't it? Yes, it was great. It was a fantastic day. I mean, we heard about ten days ago that this was a possibility, and so we were sworn to secrecy to make sure that uh, security was adhered to. Um, but we said yes for two reasons. One reason, I think it was important that the Prime Minister, the Secretary of State for Education, Michael Gove, came to see what's happening in Bristol. Bristol education is on the up. Uh, and I'm proud of the part that we play in that. But I also wanted to give our students the opportunity for real political debate. And that they had, because uh, let me tell you, quite a lot of them asked some pretty tough questions of the Prime Minister about government policy, which uh, will be ringing in his ears as he goes back to Westminster. <laughs> 